I'm Mark, and today we're going to sculpt a chestburster from aliens. Or a dick monster. Uh, so I'm going to start off with some clay, a hot glue gun, a little wooden base, and a shit ton of tinfoil that rains from my sky. So I start off by building the armature by grabbing all the tinfoil and just clumping it into a very uh, nice, long, oblong shape firmly grasping it. Then I just gotta goop, I mean glue, glue it down, not goop all over it. And after that I could add the white stuff, I mean the clay, of course, that's what it is, not it, dirty perverts. So at this point all I have to worry about is covering the armature with the, the clay, you know, just hide the, the shiny parts, rubbing the tip, Stroking it. I'm sculpting it. Then I could uh, start adding the basic details. As you see there, I'm adding the lower chin. Staring at it. And then uh, it, it's hard to sculpt at this because it's so eye distracting and I have to find all the tools. But then I could find a little uh, like flat pointed tool to sculpt in the mouth detail. Or roughly sculpt it. As you see with my thumbs and fingers I just worry about the basic larger shapes. At this point I think I'm building up the chest for it, like it has some ribs there. And I can use the paintbrush to uh, imply the, the ribs. And then little chicken arms. Now I can work a little bit more on the head. And at this point it's pretty rough down so with my thumbs I'm just going to smooth out the dome there. And uh, I, I should have lowered the camera, it looks like shit, but that doesn't matter. I'm talking beautifully about this. And there I'm going to add some more girth to the bottom and then rub the tip a little more and then with the, some uh, ball end tool I don't know what the names of these tools are just fucking that's how you know I'm good at this but with that tool I could just like basically uh, rough out the wrinkles and give it more uh, defined features. Now I am uh, working a bit more on the back. Again, smoothing out the head every time I fuck with it. And with the spatula again, could add a... redefine the little chicken arms a little more working on the dome outline. Thankfully the the chest brister isn't that tubey like the regular alien so I just could be lazy about the tubing. And then I sculpt them lips. Them smooching lips. Then with a smaller uh, ball-ended tool, I could uh, work on little finer wrinkles. And I sculpt the little hands. I think it has little hands. The, the, it's, it's both hard and I'm lazy to find uh, good reference pictures, so most of the time I just wing it. And then again, working a little bit more on the arms. Please enjoy the silent minute as this part of the audio is missing because my cat wouldn't shut the fuck up from huffing out a hairball.
I am uh, distracted and I'm looking at what the fuck. I'm, I was working a bit on the ribs there. Oh, and then I could add a little more wrinkles for the arms, kind of make it look like a weird underdeveloped noodle. And again, I'm still just working on the basic uh, landmark forms. Uh, as you see, I'll start using that tool later to uh, add more wrinkles, which will blend it all together. stretch now keep just uh, again just adding more wrinkles because this is a wrinkly dick alien and now that it's uh now I just grab some rubbing alcohol and uh, try to smooth out one last bit before throwing it in the oven And the whole point of this is to like basically to smooth it out and uh, get rid of the little hanging bits. Then I believe I bake it at 275 for around 15 minutes. And thankfully this time it wasn't fucking burnt like the last one. Now it's uh, really hard. And now it's ready for paint. So that's some yellow orchard that I'm going to use as the base. And it is a bit watered down, which uh, you usually shouldn't do for the base coat. But since it's a uh, white clay, it goes on pretty well. And as you see, the throwing it in the oven made the, the hot glue kind of fall apart at the base. So I'm going to have to glue fix that again. And for this, I'm taking my time very slowly to uh, make sure that the paint works away in all the cracks and don't have any empty spots. And then once that is done, I can... No, I'm still doing that. Okay, now that that is done, I could add a very quick wash of brown paint. And this is going to get more into the crannies, so all the wrinkles. And with the, the idea of this is to like add shadow to it. That way, uh, so then I'll just wipe off the paint from the higher points. And I am making sure to just not uh, do a splotchy kind of wipe away for the, the head so it doesn't look like a paint brush was over it. And then now I'm going to go with the darker wash, which is uh, just watered down black to get a deeper shadows and kind of finish it off a little more. Again, you see me patting it away instead of wiping it away from the, the head. The rest of the, the body is fine to wipe away since you, it's not as noticeable there. And then finally I'm going to go back with some uh, lighter yellow orchard by adding white to it to uh, hit the high points and give it a kind of a transparent feeling. And then once that's done, I could throw the more glue onto the base, 
repaint the base with uh, some black paint. And then for the final missing part, I'm going to throw in some red paint, water it down with a toothbrush, and just flick it on to add the blood. And just like that, you have a weird dick monster ready to hang on the wall. A bloody red dick monster. For the next video, I will show how I make a little uh, moving dick monster. I at least try to. Hope you like the video and uh, fuck. And have a good day.